sometimes life's biggest storms give you the most beautiful rainbows. We are Chasing Rainbows. Wow, my hair is fuzzy. <laughs> it is so humid out here. So humid. Ugh. In just a second, I'm going to fix this. So I'm going to fix the hair in three, two, one. Better. Not great, but better. I'm putting on my lighter glasses. Hopefully that won't be too bad. Ugh. Oh, they're reflecting. All right. I'll try to make two. I know you're probably ready for me to just dive right into it and go take the test and get an answer and share it with you. And I'm going to. I'm not going to lie. Part of me inside is wanting to stall a little bit longer. I swear when it comes to taking a pregnancy test, I have total PTSD. It's a love-hate relationship, really. I want to know I do but in the same breath it's also it's so scary to like one sit and wait for the test to turn positive or negative two it's I'm afraid of both answers for different reasons so oh I hate it oh my gosh with Paisley I took at least I I know I took at least 14 tests. This is so shameful. Actually, if you are one of those that has to take tests over and over again to confirm it, I'm gonna put a link below. Cause I bought a box of like 50 or something like that. And yeah, I, I abused that <laughs> so much. Maybe that's not healthy, but if you're doing it, you might as well not buy the expensive ones, right? Buy them in bulk. Um, I used those, but I also like using the first response ones, the early detection, and I've also used like Walmart's cheapy ones if I didn't have any of the ones I bought on Amazon, but I prefer the ones on Amazon because they're like the ones they use in the doctor's offices, so I figure if you can't turn those ones positive, then I don't like, I don't want to go to the doctor and have them tell me, oh, it's negative after I that I got a positive test and came in there and then you just feel stupid. So, been there before. That's fun. <laughs> Even though I was, it just, theirs didn't pick it up early enough. So, but anyways, rambling. Too much, too much history. I'm gonna have to make other videos about that stuff. And yeah, we'll cut to the chase more or less than this one. Okay. Who's going first? You, cuz... Okay. Okay. Mm. I think that's negative. We'll pause here. 
so as you saw it is negative just stinks when you get your hopes up and it's based on three minutes <laughs> the, the worst three minutes you of your life <laughs> make it or break it yeah i i don't know this is the first one you sat through so for you this is probably your best and your worst i mean <laughs> it is for me this was the easiest of all the ones I've done, I would say, as far as, like, I'm not in utter devastation. I didn't cry. Maybe I have too many walls up. <laughs> that might not be a good thing. I shouldn't be like, yay, I made it through. I didn't cry. Like, let's move on and go do the rest of the day. I know I put walls up. I need to work on that. But... I kind of went from one extreme to the other. I know that for sure. Like, it used to be I had my priorities so far out of alignment that this was the only thing I wanted and the only thing I was hoping for. And it just felt like life was over if it didn't turn positive. Or if it did and then we lost the baby. Everything was just over. I could not move on. And... I think that is mostly because I took God out of the number one spot in those circumstances. Now I've kind of gone to the other extreme where I'm like, I don't want to feel anything. I don't want to say I want anything. I don't even want to admit it on paper. Um, so I seem like need to, I've been trying to keep myself so busy with all of the things that we've been doing, which are good. They're all good things. But I've been trying to distract myself to the extreme, I would say now. I don't know how to find balance. I know we've talked about things off camera as far as like our other options and things that we've thought of. But I want you to talk about it on camera and not just me talk the whole time. Um. I think obviously having our own would be a blessing, but I think adoption is in our hearts too. I think it's definitely in my heart. Mm -hmm. um, and I think at some point adopting a special needs child would definitely be in our path and that's, my heart has changed over that. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think God has a plan for us and we just don't know it yet. And we got to keep on going for his plan to happen. We can't just stop our lives mm -hmm. and not do anything. And I actually feel okay with not knowing what it is. Like, I feel like I have things to keep me busy in the meantime and not like be consumed with trying to figure out what and when and how and all that um but yeah adopting I think regardless even if that had turned positive that's never getting crossed off the list for me like I want to do that one day for sure, like, unless God has a different plan and he says no, but I just feel like he's put it on both of our hearts and been working on us over, over time, and I would love to adopt a special needs child, like, for those of you that haven't been around that actually when I was and am able to work, I, I am an aide for special needs children at a school, so I work with elementary kids, um, typically a one-on-one -on -one or I have several kids. I had the last, when I was there, I had three underneath me. Um, yeah, I have a passion for that. I would love to adopt a special needs child, like, totally. 
I don't know if this gave you any sense of hope or not. If you are in the same same walk where you are getting your hopes up every month and hoping to see two pink lines or you've seen those lines and the lines started to fade and you had a miscarriage, oh, we've been there. We've walked through that all and it's not easy. And but hopefully it helps knowing that you're not alone. There's other people going through it just like you. And we are some of those people. So if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and give this video a like. Also feel free to share this video if you know somebody that needs to see it. Liking the video, commenting, and subscribing are all things that help our channel grow. And it tells YouTube to share this video with other people who need it just like you. So. We are going to end this video there and we'll see you next time. And until then, we look forward to chasing more rainbows with you. Bye-bye. Hi. Thanks for watching today's video. Before you leave, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. This tells YouTube to share this with others who need it just like you. Also, be sure to follow us over on Instagram and check out the link for my family's channel in the description. Also in the description, you will find link to our, our store, Chasing Rainbows, which has products for miscarriage, infertility, and beyond. If you're interested in having a custom made product like one with your angel baby's name on it, then send us a DM over at Chasing Rainbows underscore store, and we will send you a custom link with a full line of products just for you, no obligation to buy. Otherwise, check out our ready-made lines right now. And be sure to visit UmbrellaOfSupport.com for all resources pertaining to miscarriage, stillbirth, child loss, infertility, special needs children, adoption, and foster care. Remember that life is done better in community. Check back for more videos, and I look forward to chasing more rainbows with you.